Hello, everyone. Hello. We are so happy that we are back with you today. Anthony and Cheryl from Faith 5 Fellowship mm -hmm. of Ministries and Faith 5 Restoration Center. Mm -hmm. We want to continue to encourage your measure of faith. Mm -hmm. We really want to continue to encourage your measure of faith. And we were just having a conversation mm -hmm. just before coming on this podcast. And we just want, we're just saying, you know, there is so much that's happening to us and we can get tired. But we are in a race. Mm -hmm. We are in a race. And the word tells us in, Ephes in not Ephesians, it's Hebrew 12. Hebrews 12, verse, verse one. 1. Yes. And then 1 Timothy. Uh, yeah, 2 Timothy. Second what Timothy. we really want to, everybody knows. Mm -hmm. Hebrews 12, verse 1. But Hebrews 12, verse 1 comes after mm -hmm. that famous passage of faith. The hall of faith, Hebrews 11. And those individuals, they ran a race of faith. And now this is not a sprint. Our race is not a sprint. It mm -hmm. is a marathon. It's a long distance race. Yeah. That requires us to pace ourselves. That's right. It, it requires of us to stay focused and stay in our lane. It requires of us to let the word of God dwell in us richly. Wow. It requires of us to... Focus upon Christ who has ran your race before you. That's right. Because the Bible says he touched me the fiends of your infirmity. Do you feel tired? Do you feel spiritually weary? Have you ever felt the time when I can't pray another prayer? I can't read another scripture? I've gone to every conference. I've listened to everything. And yet I feel but I'm not getting through to God on the situation or the circumstances. And you get tired of building your hope up. To be dashed again. You're tired of standing on Psalms 139, Psalms 121, or even just standing on Psalms 100. And you've quoted the scripture so much time, and yet life comes at you so hard. And your faith is battered. You know what? You're talking about battered faith. Yes, battered. But it's still faith, and it's still strong. You just need time for you to rest in God. That's right. And he said, time to rest in God. Yes. You know what? Mm -hmm. We have entered into a rest. Mm -hmm. And if we know mm -hmm. that we are in a marathon, mm -hmm. if you know you're in a marathon, then there, you have been prepared for this distance. You have been prepared. And why I say that we've been prepared? When we become born again and we come into the kingdom, mm -hmm. then we have entered into something that has a life that has already been prepared mm -hmm. for us, according to Psalm 139. Mm -hmm. The Lord, you know, he formed us mm -hmm. and he knew all of our days before we even entered into the first one. So it's already done. It's already done. However, we have to step into it yes. and enter into that rest by faith, knowing that he who has called us, mm -hmm. He who is the author, mm -hmm. he's also the finisher mm -hmm. of the faith, the measure of faith that he's given us. It's so important for us to realize that it's not how I feel. That's right. It's not even what I know or don't know yeah. of my situations. That's right. What the Bible says and what God says to you transcends everything else in this world around you. Yeah. And I pray that you get this now. He has given to you a measure of faith. Yes. He's not giving to you all the faith in the world. Yeah. He's not giving you the faith of somebody else. He has measured out a portion of faith. And mm. in the midst of your salvation, your walk in God, he has given to you the measure that you need to run the full marathon of your life. Wow. I love that. But every season, yes, he just downloads again into your life, what you need for that season. Do not try to live in winter when you're in spring. Wow. And don't try to live in summer when you're actually in winter. And sometimes people are telling you, well, this scripture is good, but it's a scripture not for where you are right now. There is always enough sufficiency for the season in which you live. And I have to learn how to walk out my season of my life. 
-hmm. Because tomorrow is not where my faith is for today. Uh -huh. My faith for today is in today. That's right. And tomorrow, don't touch it. Well, Lord, how am I going to manage tomorrow? Tomorrow will take care of itself. Sounds like part of a verse to me. Because if you're trying to do that, then your faith will not that's be right. yours. It's for tomorrow. God has given Amen. us that. It's a command. It's a way to run the race. Don't try to pack up enough scripture and faith in God for tomorrow. And when you get there, you wonder where it is. Because you did not rise each morning and receive the trust, the confidence for that day. And so, that day. look at Hebrews mm -hmm. chapter 12. Yes. It starts by saying, lay aside. Lay aside. Every weight and every sin that's so easily beset you. But that's not, that's important. Mm -hmm. That's important because it's a follow on mm -hmm. from Hebrews 11. Mm -hmm. But what is important is that when you can lay aside the things that are hindering you, mm -hmm. the things that want, you know, the challenges, <coughs> you can't lay aside your challenges. Mm -hmm. You walk through them. Mm hmm he takes you through them. That's right. Because he is concerned about you. Yes. Invite him yes. into every situation with you. So you are able to now run with patience yes. the race that has been set mm -hmm. before you as you look unto who? Jesus, who mm -hmm. is the author and the finisher of your faith. Yes. If you look in Second Timothy, mm -hmm. Peter, Peter, Paul was saying to Timothy, I have fought a good fight. That's right. I have run a good race. Yes. And I've kept the faith. Mm -hmm. Paul was running a race. Mm -hmm. Where are you in your race? Do you want to keep running? He's given you what you need. Stand with him. We're praying for you wherever you are. What, what are you experiencing today? You have what you need if you trust God daily. Because he wants to and he's intended to help you for the rest of your days to yes. stay in faith. So we thank you for joining us today. Yes. Anthony and Cheryl from Faith 5. Mm -hmm. And we really want to encourage you. Sarah's Daughters of Faith, mm -hmm. which is one of the ministries out of Faith 5. We will be having a tea, Boundaries Tea and Me, April 15th from 10 to 12. In Ajax, mm -hmm. you can contact us, 905-427-7438, or our website that's attached to this video. Bless you. Have a good day. And we know mm -hmm. that you need to activate your measure of faith. That's right. It's good enough mm -hmm. for your marathon. Bless you. All right. See you soon.